All right, Leo, I am here to do your November bi-weeklies. We're going to look at the first two weeks of November, see what is going on for Leo the Lions. The song I got on shuffle for you guys was Coding Dreaming featuring Lil Wayne, and uh, the song is by, who's the song by? Kodak Black. All right, so this song is on my playlist, but I literally never listen to it. Um, I'm not crazy about the song. Don't know why it's on my playlist, but it's on there. So that's the song you guys got. Listening to it for a little bit, it talks about this person's in outer space, everybody else, all the other little peons are apparently down on Earth. So <laughs> it just makes me laugh because I'm like, what a great Leo song. I love my Leos. My Venus is in Leo. So I'm partly a little bit Leo, but we all know the reputation that Leos have. Y'all are the sun, and we just revolve around you. So the fact that this song is that you are going to be in full Leo energy these first two weeks, I can just feel it. Y'all going to be in Mars, the Milky Way, and all of the rest of the peons are <laughs> back on Earth. Oh, my God. Makes me laugh. Sometimes these things make me laugh. I just realized that as I said it out loud, what the song was about and that I'm doing a reading for Leo's. But anyways, um, expect nothing less. All right. So you guys are going to be in full Leo energy. You're probably going to be feeling yourselves. Let's see. Let's see what's going on between you and another person in the first two weeks of November. Knave of Pentacles. All righty. So right off the bat, I think you guys are getting an offer coming in. An offer coming in that you probably have been waiting for, and it's going to get you feeling like just on cloud nine. Let's get a clarifier for what this Knave of Pentacles is. What is this offer, this new opportunity coming in? Ooh, that shot out. The lovers. The lovers. Oh, somebody's making a decision. Somebody might be making a decision towards you, making you an offer. I already knew this had to be involved with love. Maybe somebody you met is just gassing you up and making you feel like you are just from outer space. You're just from out of this world. I don't know, Leo. Are you dealing with a Gemini? Um, let's see what the individual energies have to say. All right, the Seven of Swords. Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. And the Magician. Okie doke. So very abundant timing here. Leo, here's the sitch. You guys are getting a love offer. Somebody has got their sights set on you. And somebody's giving you some kind of attention here that's just going to make you feel... This could be multiple people. You could just be in an energy of where you are just feeling yourselves these first two weeks and you are just putting out that energy of, you know, people are attracted to you. I see this Nine of Pentacles here. I see you being very um, in the mutual energy. There's like abundance. There's being single. Somebody here, Seven of Swords and the Eight of Swords, guarded and indecisive. Guarded and indecisive, so a lot of the reasoning that you could be in this energy of like all you peons are back on earth, you might have gone to full Leo mode because there's somebody here who's like holding back from you and you're just like, look at all these options that I have. I don't have time for somebody who doesn't like give themselves fully to me, right? So you're just manifesting all this stuff here, all this abundance coming in. Um, abundance of like relationships, abundance of, there's some kind of ending here, some kind of ending, ending of a cycle of burden. You're just no longer burdened. Um, so I feel like whatever weight has been lifted here in this situation, it's what's allowing you to be in this energy of kind of feeling yourself, kind of being like, like, you don't have stuff to worry about. Maybe you have a new job that's coming forward or some kind of opportunity that's presented itself. It could be a new relationship. Could be a new relationship that's come in, somebody who really is like sweet and tender with you. And 
they just they just gas gas you up gas you up leo it's okay ace of cups okay new love for sure it's like i feel like whoever this has been it's like this person's really hard to get this person's really hard to get but yet you got them so that's what's making you feel like oh yeah like all the work and all the effort you put in to like getting this person is paying off so it's <laughs> It's one of those things that like that's why you're feeling yourself so much because this person's very hard to get and this person doesn't just choose anyone and they seem to have chosen you they have chosen you this is kind of gassing you up a little bit they want this relationship with you and this might be somebody that you had had your sights set on oh and they want to offer you commitment this person's offering you commitment and this could be somebody that you had to in a sense kind of compete for leo uh, oh did i lose any cards okay i'm putting all those back because too many came out but the higher fan had originally come out so this is somebody who honestly they're gonna offer you commitment and you could have been casually dating this person but they have you had a competition here there was conflict here but they kind of made a decision that they want to be with you and i think that's what has you like on cloud nine because you're like yeah i got them so whoever this was they are somebody that is a little bit hard to get and they've kind of fallen under that leo spell so you are you're feeling you're feeling good you're feeling good you got the person that you want all the energy that you put into this it paid off because this person is like wanting this commitment with you wanting this commitment all right so the eight of cups is on the table the king of wands is here so there's something like this person who you're dealing with has player energy now they could be offering you commitment let's get a clarifier thing about the king of wands he has a lot of options and there's the seven of wands the seven of cups that came out the king of wands has a lot of options but he is also very loyal like both the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands, they're both people who have many options. Um, and they're both actually loyal, which is sometimes not the gist that people want to take from the King of Wands. Now, if the King of Wands were in reverse, that might signify that he is, you know, a bit of a player. But the King of Wands upright is just a man who's very attractive. Um, and it could just be your masculine energy because they don't have to be a man. But I'm referring to the gender of the card. Is somebody who's very attractive, somebody who's good at getting what they want, somebody who is also, though, very loyal. Because a king is mature, you know? It's just somebody that, like, a lot of people are after. So this person does have options, but it looks like they're making this commitment to you and they're bringing you this clarity. So this could be something that could be happening. Um happening early in the month so then you being this eight of cups it's like this could have been stressing you out a little bit more than you'd like to admit like is this person going to choose me is this person going to make this decision towards me like you've been in that hangman state kind of waiting on them to make a decision even though you've been like doing your thing doing you you're going to get that validation from this person that they want to be with you and just you, it seems like, in the first two weeks or within the next coming months because time and energy are fluid. So it's, you know, we can pick up the energy right now, but it's looking like this person's wanting to move towards being in a commitment with you, even though they have other options. You are the one that's going to end up victorious, it seems, in this situation, which I think is going to go straight to your head. And you are going to be feeling real good about yourself. So that is what I'm seeing. I see that you can walk away from this conflict and this uh, um, anxiety pretty soon. Because this person, whoever this person is, they're going to communicate and bring clarity to this situation. Because um, I feel like they've been keeping you out in the cold a little bit with what they want to do. They've been really guarded, but that's just because this person's like guarded and they're a little bit picky, which is a good thing. So when they pick you, you know, you're special. 
So Leo, that's what I'm seeing for you and the extent that I'm going to be doing messages from this person, actions this person's playing. I'm taking advice from spirit as well as how to move forward, what is blocking this connection. So if you're interested in that, click the link in the description box and I will see you there.